Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. I want to show you once again a grease lamp. Um, any plant, animal, or petroleum, oil, or grease will usually work. So what you need is just a empty can, 100% cotton for wick, and I'm just going to take a piece of this t-shirt, quarter inch wide by about 18 inches long, and reverse wrap it into a, a wick. So let's time everything. Let's time me emptying the container and making up the reverse wrap wick. Sometimes I just use a cotton ball for a wick. But this is kind of a durable wick that will stand up. You'll see how I make it, how I form it around into a knot and make it stand up. This is meant to be a disposable lamp. You know, you put it in the dark corner of your camp where you just need a little bit of light and just let it use itself up. Although it can be snuffed out and reused. I better start emptying. There goes my lawnmower. That's what I'm gonna pour the used motor oil out of. You hear that turkey in the background? It's the time of the year in upstate South Carolina, isn't it? All right, tie a knot in it. Work it down to the end. Tie that into a loose knot. And then to make this, this end here stand up, I'm gonna run it through. I hope you can see this. I'm gonna open up one of these weaves and run it through there. Tighten the weave back up, stand it straight up. That should work. Now let me finish emptying our can and I'll go ahead and rinse it out and then we'll cut it. So far, we're six and a half minutes in. I could cut this with the Stanley 10-049, but I'll use the Mora. That's just a couple inches tall, if that. Let's 
see how it's going to accommodate the wick. That wick is about right, isn't it? Good. Let me set up the lawnmower so you can see me pouring the used oil into this. Don't you go fall off of there. Can you see it? Yeah, I'd say that's about three ounces of oil. Might have to pour just a little bit out because we still have to uh, submerge our wick. I dumped out a little bit. Now, let's saturate the wick. And we're at 14 minutes. And I'm gonna set a rock on top of that. I'm gonna drop a rock on top of that wick. <laughs> Beautiful. Now that's gonna burn a great big flame as fat as that wick is. But let's go ahead and ignite it. And let's try to use a natural way to ignite it. How about a sliver of fat wood? We'll try that first. Let's get a matchstick off of this. All right, time for the keychain fire rod. It's a bayite. We eventually got there, didn't we? Good. It is now 2147, and I think I'll set you up over here and we'll just see how long it burns for. We'll call it 22 minutes and just do the math and see how long that's gonna last. Let me go ahead and put you on time-lapse. 
because that would be cool to see our timepiece take off like crazy and possibly see the level of the oil start to go down. Wow, that's about a one hour burn and the level of that oil does not look like it's changed at all. So three ounces of oil with that size wick, surely it's gonna burn 12 hours or more. And of course it can be easily snuffed out. You wanna leave the can on there longer than what it takes to snuff the flame, because if you take the can back off, it's gonna sit there and smolder and smolder and smolder for hours. So just leave the can on there for a very long time. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.